Tired of waiting in long lines just to get on an I-70? We're there yet. Wasting time and wasting gas. We're so close, but so far away. Wish you could get onto I-70 faster? There's gotta be a better way. Well, soon you can, with a diverging diamond. I think Missouri is leading the way. It's proven to be an innovative and effective design. What it does is it allows for traffic to diverge or cross over into the opposite lanes of traffic and that traffic that then is moving through the interchange then has a free movement to make those left turns. Most of the time, I think when people go through one, they're like, hey, what just happened? I just went through the DDI. Driving the diverging diamond interchange is relatively easy. Here's how the one located at I-70 and Stadium will work. Scenario 1. You are headed south on Stadium Boulevard and approach the new interchange. You proceed through the traffic light, are directed to the left side of the road, and continue across the overpass. If you want to go straight, proceed through the next traffic light and return to the right side of the road. If you want to exit onto I-70 East, make a free left turn and merge. You will not have to stop at a traffic light or cross oncoming traffic. This works the same way for traffic headed north on Stadium. Drivers will diverge onto the left side of the road and have the option to take a free left and merge onto I-70 West or go through the light and return to the right side of the road. Scenario 2. You are on westbound 70 and take the Stadium exit. If you are headed towards South Stadium, turn left into the nearest lane on the bridge. Continue straight and the traffic signal will direct you to the right-hand side. It works the same way for traffic exiting from eastbound 70 and heading north on Stadium. Scenario 3. With the new diverging diamond interchange, traffic on Interstate I-70 Drive Southwest Road will become a right-in, right-out on both sides of the intersection, eliminating the need for a signal there. We've seen uh, less congestion and delay with other DDIs that we've built in Missouri, and we're also seeing overall improved safety with the DDI. We have two ways of comparing safety of a new design to what's existing. One is what we call theoretical uh, number of conflicts. So for a diverging diamond or a DDI, the left turning conflicts, crossing conflicts are fewer. So it's two versus four at a diamond interchange. The left turning traffic, you don't have a conflict with the oncoming traffic. So that's one of the most severe forms of crashes. So if you can avoid those, it's a lot safer. The other thing is based on crash records from France, we found that at the same or typical diamond interchange here, when you compare it with that in France, the number of injury crashes were exactly half of what we have here. The first Divergent Diamond Interchange opened in Springfield, Missouri in the summer of 2009. And that was actually the first Divergent Diamond Interchange in the nation. And since they've opened that interchange, they've seen a 50% reduction in crashes. And they've also had locations before that would have like a one to three mile backup. And now they're not experiencing that backup at all. One of the reasons that we're seeing improved safety with the Divergent Diamond Interchange is because we're minimizing the number of times that drivers have to start up and stop. And by minimizing that start up and stop maneuver, we're seeing a reduction in the potential for rear end crashes. One of the main advantages to a DDI is it's a very small footprint for the bridge across the interstate. We'll be making pavement modifications and signal modifications, but we will not have to do any um, structure or any type of widening to the existing bridge. Any other type of interchange would need to basically tear down that bridge and install a new bridge. Well, bridges are very expensive, um, so this project saves quite a bit of money because of the small footprint for the bridge itself. If we would have constructed the conventional design interchange, it would have required us to have eight lanes of traffic across this bridge. And we would actually not even be moving as much traffic as what we're gonna be moving with the Divergent Diamond Interchange. One of the things that research has shown with the Divergent Diamond Interchange, you can move 650 cars per hour per lane. That's 650 cars that can turn left onto the interstate per lane per hour versus the traditional diamond interchange can only move half that much traffic. 
And so not only are you improving the safety, but you're moving more cars in the same amount of time. Knowing that we didn't have to build eight lanes across the bridge, we now have room with the Divergent Diamond Interchange to construct a pedestrian walkway across the bridge. There'll be two barriers placed in the middle of the bridge and then where the pedestrians need to cross, they'll have pedestrian signals and they'll be able to cross to the middle of the bridge, continue on their way, and then when they get to the other side of the bridge, they'll do the same thing and cross back to the sides where the sidewalks are. Another good aspect of our DDI in Columbia is it's near our Cosmo Park. The Parks and Recreation Department has stepped up and they're gonna maintain some landscaping in these large islands that are created with the DDI, so it's gonna be very aesthetically pleasing as well. The Diverging Diamond Interchange, as well as all the construction along Stadium in and into the Columbia Mall area at Bernadette, is scheduled for completion before the holiday shopping season in 2013. Much of the construction work that you see behind me will be taking place at nighttime. Uh, that's to accommodate not only the large amounts of traffic as well as the commercial businesses along this area. Uh, the overnight hours will allow us to be more efficient and be a much safer, uh, much safer working environment for our construction personnel as well as the contractor. Better connectivity on further to the west is probably going to be necessary, but we do feel like the improvements that we're doing here will help, certainly in this area and for most of the city, travel through this area, be able to reach the interstate and get off the interstate, get to Columbia in an efficient manner. So it should be good for the economy, it should be good for Columbia in general. Stadium Boulevard is a vital corridor for the city as well as Boone County provides a lot of economic benefit to the area and the additional capacity and the safety by the improved designs that we have here will provide safety for the area for the foreseeable future. <laughs>